Hello. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about how we can use Power BI and uh, our pupil database to support schools as they start to look at teacher assess grades for the summer of 2021. And I think there's a lot of ways in which Power BI can help uh, by putting data and putting analysis and information in front of teachers in a really easy and straightforward manner to help them and help them to support uh, the decisions that they have to make about individual pupils. So in this little video, I'm going to show you some suggestions for how you can use Power BI uh, to analyze your assessment and your exam data from previous years. Here's an example of a Power BI report that I've created that brings together um, historical exam grades. We can see here the results from previous years and I've included results from the previous uh, three years, 2018, 2017, 2016. Um, you can pick up whatever data that you want uh, that you have for your uh, school. But I've put that against uh, the assessment grades, the termly assessment grades that have been entered for this particular school, say in the spring or the summer term. So these might reflect uh, your teacher's latest assessment of your current year 11s, whereas what we have underneath are previous year 11s and what they actually achieved uh, in the exam seasons. And you can see Power BI allows us to create an easy to read format there. What I've done here is I've just worked out what the average uh, one to nine grade was in each subject. Then you'll see with Power BI, we can add extra information. So we've got a hover over button here uh, that gives us, for example, for German, uh, the average uh, point score for German is 5.4. Uh, based on our most recent assessments. Uh, and as, as I hover the mouse over the uh, column for German, it also gives me a grade breakdown. So I can see how many grade threes, how many grade fours, fives, sixes, and sevens we've actually awarded for this term in German. And you'll see that also on this hover over, I've got uh, an average grade there, uh, and also the percentage of pupils who got a grade four or higher. And against uh, the assessments for this term, we also have uh, an overall average grade, which is taking the average of these individual subjects and creating an average for the whole year group, in this case for this term. We have the same idea for the exam grades. This one goes from 2018 down to 2016, but there's no reason why, for example, you can't put 2019 results in here. Um, uh, most secondary schools, your SIMS database will hold this data historically, certainly if you've used exams organised to record them. So we've got an easy way, perhaps, then, of uh, looking at, for example, English literature. And we know immediately that English literature, the average grade for our pupils this year, in the latest spring result is 5.3. Uh, that's actually 5.29. It's uh, rounded down, but it gives us to two decimal places if we want it. And we've also got this uh, profile for English literature. And you can see there we've got 102 uh, pupils who are currently on a grade 6 and 79.25% of our pupils are on a grade four or higher. Well, having identified English literature for this term, I can also hover over English literature for 2018, and I get the same information there, the same style of grade breakdown, the same access to the average exam, the average grade in English literature that particular year, and a percentage of pupils who got a grade four or higher. We're not limited to grade four or higher. I'm just using grade four or higher as an example here. You can have uh, grade five or higher, grade seven or higher, or a combination of all three. Whatever, whatever, uh, whatever statistic you're particularly keen on, Power BI can calculate this relatively straightforwardly. What if we want to drill down into the geography um, uh, results, or any of the results you can see on the screen here. I'm just picking geography as a, as a, as a, as a random example. You can see this term's results uh, for our current year 11s suggest that their average grade is 5.1, and that's how it, how it breaks down. I can compare that with the uh, 2018 results, where it was a 5.5. Um, and uh, in 2017, the average grade was 5.9. So I can see the difference there uh, between our current year 11s and previous year 11s. And that's all very well, but what I sometimes want to be able to do is drill down and find out who are those current year 11s who are currently averaging uh, 5.1 uh, in geography. Well, with Power BI, I can right click on any of these columns uh, and I can drill through to, in this case, 
a screen called the pupil assessment list. And that will bring up the names of those pupils who are doing geography. You can see here we're showing year 11's autumn term results. And here's the actual grades. And here's a little graphic just to indicate a little bar chart to indicate and help us find the pupils who've got the highest grades in that uh, in that list. So that gives me the picture for geography as it stands right now. And I haven't done it here, but there's no reason why I can't also bring out class details at this level as well. Um, I can take it a step further though at this stage. It's one thing to know that this particular pupil is doing geography and they achieved a five, but maybe I want to know for this particular pupil, how does that geography grade five stand in relation to the other subjects that the pupil is doing? So again, I can use the right click button and drill through, in this case, to another screen, which I've called the pupil dashboard. And this just concentrates on that one pupil and brings out useful information for that one pupil. So here's the name of the pupil. And we're looking here in this particular case at year 11 spring term. Um, and the results on, on, on the graph beneath are all based on year 11 spring term, but I can change that and view any of the assessments uh, that we've uh, uh, assessed this particular pupil on throughout the key stage. So all the year 10 results will be there uh, and we can wind back the clock if you like and look how this particular pupil was doing at the start of year 10. Uh, and how they're doing perhaps in the autumn term here uh, of year 10 as well. And there we've got all the subjects that this particular pupil's taking. There's geography there uh, with his grade five. Um, and we can see that grade in the context of all the other grades. Um, so geography is probably one of his middle ranking subjects. He's doing better in physics and he's doing better in French, but substantially worse in biology. That's all very well, but we, perhaps we need to see how, how he's progressed over time. Now we've got a progress graph here, which is looking at the moment at the average grade across all these subjects from it starts in year 10 autumn term and goes up to year 11 spring term for the final graph here, where he's averaging 5.4 across all the subjects. Well, I can see how he's doing specifically in geography uh, by clicking on the geography bar chart here. And what that does is it shows us his grade in geography in relation to his overall average across all the subjects. So we can see that in geography, he spent the first year on uh, being assessed at a grade four, and this year he's being assessed at a grade five. Uh, so he's a grade five in the spring term, but he was also a grade five in the autumn term as well. So there's a possibility perhaps that a teacher might be able to grade him up to a grade six uh, by the end of the year, or maybe not, it all depends. But at least here, as, a, a, as teachers, you've got access to all the information that you might need um, that would otherwise perhaps be hidden away in the, uh, in, in the school uh, pupil database. So that works for any of these subjects. So if I want to see his progress in French, and you can see his progress in French there. I want to see his progress in English literature. And I can even control and click English language and English literature. And now it gives me the average grade across both of those subjects, which I can compare to the progress he's made across all the other subjects as well. We're picking out some key information about this pupil here. We're also, given whatever we've selected here, counting up how many of the grades are four or higher. I've just selected English literature and English language here. If I uh, go back and uh, select all the subjects, we can see that this particular pupil has got a grade four or higher in, all, in seven subjects, all of them apart from biology, and his average grade is a 4.9. Uh, if, familiar, if you're familiar with Power BI, you may also be familiar with this filter pane, which gives us access to some further filters. So if we want to just select on uh, pupils who are pupil premium or whose ethnicity is a specific ethnicity, um, then we can do. Perhaps this isn't the best screen to show that information on. But if I go back to my original screen, we can very easily choose to, in this case, just show the pupil premium pupils and I can add these um, selections together. So that's pupil premium pupils and this is pupil premium pupils who are also EAL. So hopefully I've shown you there how we can use Power BI to look both very wide at all the subjects across all the pupils and also very narrow and focus down on one pupil and look at the progress that that pupil has made over a period of time. So hopefully that can all uh, assist you when you're making decisions about teacher assessed grades. Thank you.